Are home prices crashing in Morgan Hill, California? Well, lucky for you today, we are going to dive into all of this information. The seasonal slowdown is upon us. Every single year, we see the market slow down just a little bit in the late fall and early winter season. Part of this is normal. Part of this is going to be coming off of a pandemic and craziness as it is. And we're gonna talk about all of that. The first part that I'm going to talk about is year over year sales prices in Morgan Hill. So let's start with last year in October, 2021. Homes sold on average for $1,598,000. Fast forward to this year in October, 2022, single family homes were selling for 1,342,000. So I'm not a mathematician, but I'm gonna say that is a significant drop. And we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into what that means in a second here. To keep with the topic, let's jump into townhomes and condos as well. The previous numbers were just single family. They're very, very different styles of homes, types of homes and prices. So I like to divide that into two categories. So in October of 2021, condos and townhomes sold on average for $797,000. Fast forward to now, October October 2022, homes were selling on average for $962,000. Now that's very opposite from what we saw in the single family homes. And again, we're gonna dive into a little bit more of that in a second here. The condo increase versus the single family home decrease is something we should be paying attention to. The affordability has changed significantly in the Bay Area, in California as a whole. Less buyers are able to buy at what they could have maybe a year or two ago with the better interest rates. Now we are in a place of affordability going down because of the rates that people have to buy, which will ultimately affect their mortgage payment. So generally put, the demand for single family, more expensive and luxury homes is falling a little bit versus the condo townhome space is increasing in value because we're seeing more of those get snatched up right now compared to a single family home. Now we're jumping into year over year sales in Morgan Hill. So in October of 2021, 66 homes were sold versus this year, October 2022, 42 homes were sold in one month. If we look at year over year homes for sale in October, 2021, we had 46 homes available for sale versus this year, October, 2022, 78 homes. Now there's something really interesting happening here because the last two years were far from normal. I really, really like to give this data to my clients when we're talking about what the market looks like now versus 2019. 2019 was pretty similar to what we're facing now. The interest rates were of course in a better position, but generally speaking, as far as inventory, as far as how much a home is selling for, et cetera, this is a very similar market. This is also going to show us what is normal versus what we're seeing right now. So in 2019, around the same time of the year, so in the fall, there were 150 homes actively on the market. We are still a little bit over half of what that number is, it's 78 homes. So we are still in an inventory situation where there's not enough homes on the market compared to what we were seeing in the past data. Back in 2019, only 51 homes sold in the month of October versus 42 now. So it's not a huge difference, but they had a tremendous amount of inventory, which I would honestly say that they had more to buy from. Right now, my buyers are having a very hard time even finding the right home. And a lot of times those specific homes that are coming on the market, if there aren't many of them, create a significant demand. Matter of fact, we're seeing about four to five offers on some of the higher demand properties, even in this market. I would like to point out that seasonally, we tend to see about a 10 to 15% decrease on the sales prices from peak to fall winter time year over year not including last year, not including pandemic times. Partially, this is due to less inventory, less data to pull from without having those numbers. 
and generally less demand in the fall and winter. This year, we're seeing that decline even more dramatically due to interest rate hikes, inflation, and generally post-pandemic recovery. Special shout out to one of the people that made a comment in my last market update video. I wanted to mention to them because they had specifically asked for the average price for a three to four bedroom home, average size, so we're going with about 2,000 square feet, average lot size of about 6,000. They wanted to know what the average price was for this style of home in Morgan Hill. And again, very generically, but homes in this size typically range from 1.2 to 1.3 million in our market right now. I said this last month, I'll say it again, but this market is absolutely still giving opportunity to those that can still purchase a home. I understand completely that interest rates have really pushed some people out of the purchasing game, but make sure that you talk to your agent, whoever that may be, hopefully it's me, about what your options are when purchasing a home. When there is room for negotiation, there's also room for seller credits. And I know I've spoken about this already, but make sure that you exhaust every option that there is. A lot of times seller credits will offer you a reduction in what your interest rate will look like, which will of course affect your monthly mortgage payment. So another point that I always love to make is how much are homes selling versus how much they're listed for. This is an excellent data point to know when you're a selling your home. So you better understand what the selling strategy is and what to price it at and B, if you're buying a home, understanding a little bit better on what the expectations are for most properties listed. Right now, homes are selling for 98.7% of list price. Again, going back to 2019 and prior, this is a very, very average number. It was rare for our market to see homes go over list price until the last couple years. Speaking of which, historically, last year in 2021, homes were selling for 104.2% of list price. So back to the original question, is the Morgan Hill market crashing? All things point to no. We will only know with time. However, we can look at the data and better understand it. Is this a good time to buy? The answer is yes, if you are ready to do so. With all of that said, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you're thinking about moving to Morgan Hill or California as a whole, definitely shoot us a text at the number below or send us an email at info at kristenielsengroup.com and we would love to help you in your search. Once again, my name is Krista Nielsen with Real Broker in Silicon Valley. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.